So if you're in the market for a nice, loud, nasty sounding tube amp, this video is probably not for you, but I do have something interesting, so go ahead and stick around for that. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Pink Room of Doom. Hope you're doing well today. As you can tell, I'm not doing the greatest. I am uh, currently a little under the weather, so if I sound kind of congested or if I sound kind of stuffy, I apologize for that. Really quickly, before we get into the video, I'm just gonna do a really quick channel update. So I've noticed a lot of subscribers coming through. I think as of recording this video, I'm at 157. So thank you guys so, so much. Let's go ahead and uh, try to push it to 200. I've noticed a lot of comments coming in. I really do appreciate reading all those and replying to them. Um, I love the interaction. So if you wanna leave me some comments in this video or if you go to watch another video and you have a suggestion, please leave me comments there. I do love reading them and I do love responding to them. And I do take all of your considerations and everything to heart and try to implement them in my channel. And one last kind of big thing, I do have a couple of other video ideas. Um, they're gonna be upgrade videos. Um, I think I may have mentioned them in previous videos before. Um, I am waiting for parts to come in. That's kind of the big holdup, uh, specifically for pickups. Sometimes pickups are kind of hard to find, especially with the way the world is right now and everything. And as of filming this, it is November, 2021. So it's kind of coming up on Christmas time. So those videos may have to be delayed until January, 2022, unfortunately. But if you are waiting for those videos, I promise they're coming. I'm just waiting on parts. But thank you guys all again for all of the support and love. I really do appreciate it. So anyway, on to this video. Um, the star of this video is gonna, well, be a Black Star. So this is a Black Star Fly 3. It's a mini three watt battery powered amplifier. And I know what you're thinking. Why are we even talking about this? Because generally when you think of small, compact battery powered amplifiers, you're thinking of maybe like the little mini Marshalls or the mini fenders, or the mini oranges, or the mini like 5150, 6505. They all kind of sound like they're being shoved into like a soda can and then projected up through the little tiny hole, the top of the soda can. That's what they sound like, right? Well, that's kind of why I want to talk about this thing because it really doesn't sound like that. Um, for what this is and for the price, it's a pretty good amplifier. Now I do want to say really quickly, this is not a sponsored video. I did purchase this myself. I've had this for like a year. So everything I'm going to say is my own opinion based on my experience. So I just want to say that kind of out the gate. So really quickly, let's talk about how you can get one of these. So I got this on Amazon for about 70 bucks. You can find them on Guitar Center. I think you can find them on Sweetwater. Um, I think they're all pretty relatively priced about 70 to $80. So you can get them all day long for under hundred bucks and even used, you can get them for about 40 to 50 bucks. Now they do come in a lot of different colors and designs. So in this case, it's a cream colored housing with a Union Jack grill face, which I think looks the best. You also have just a full black on black one. So black housing, black grill face. And then as of recently, they've come out with the neon collection. So it's like reminiscent of the Ibanez gems. So you'll have the pink housing, but you'll have like yellow knobs. Like it's really, really cool. There's no sound difference with any of these. It's just an aesthetic thing. But uh, yeah, go check some of those out if you really want to pick one of these up. So let's go ahead and talk about this one. I'll try to get some sound clips in of what this thing sounds like because I think you may be pleasantly surprised as to uh, what this thing can do. So as I said, it is a little three watt amplifier. Um, it does run on batteries. So if you flip over to the back here, you have this battery compartment here. It takes six AA batteries. Now I will say this for Blackstar, the six batteries that are in here, are the same ones that came with it when I got it on day one. And I've had this thing for almost a year. So, and it gets pretty regular use. But you may also notice that there's a jack here and a jack here. This is where you can buy the separate power adapter. Now they cost about 10 to $12 depending. I think I paid about 10 for mine on Amazon. And you may be looking at it and thinking, well, why did you do that when you can just plug a pedal adapter in? Well, unfortunately that's not gonna work. This is a 6.5 volt and it's specific to black stars so you have to buy the one for this if you don't want to run on batteries this other jack here is really interesting because it's for an extension cabinet so you can find the extension cabinets for these things pretty cheap used on the used market they're about 30 bucks i don't know how much they are new they're probably about 40 to 50 but essentially what you do is it looks just like this just with no knobs at the top or anything and you just plug it in and you can set one on this side one on this side and make it stereo or if you want to you know stack them make like a little mini stack you can and it makes it go from three watts to six watts so anyway moving on we're going to go ahead and go to the control panel at the top so starting from the input jack and working our way down 
we'll go ahead and uh, kind of describe what each of these knobs do. So obviously here we have the input jack where you plug in your guitar. Next to that, we have a gain knob, which controls the level of your gain. Next to that is the volume knob, which controls how loud the amp is. In between there, you see this little button here that's labeled OD, that's your overdrive. So if you push it and it comes up, that's your clean channel. When you push it down, that's your overdrive channel. The EQ knob here is pretty interesting and it's pretty unique to Blackstar. So if you're not familiar with Blackstar amps, they have this patented kind of technology that they implement in the majority of their amps, if not all of them, um, called ISF. And essentially what that does is it lets you get a blend between a British sound and an American sound. So in this case, if you turn the knob all the way towards zero or the more towards zero, you're gonna get more of a British sound. So thank you like your traditional Black Star sound or like an orange sound or something like that. It's gonna be more of a British sound. If you go all the way to 10 or you get closer to 10, you're gonna get more of an American sound. So it'll be a little darker. It won't be as mid-rangey, but it still sounds pretty good. Me personally, I'm a fan of British sounding amps. So I tend to keep it at around like three or four, but again, just toy around with it and see what you like. So something that's really, really interesting about this amp that I really like is that it's got a built-in delay and you have two controls for the delay. So this little tiny knob up here is your delay level. So it's essentially how much delay you have in your sound. And then the big knob here that's labeled delay is your time. So it's, you know, it's like a tap tempo for it, right? It just increases the amount of space in between your delays. Over here, you got the power button, so that just turns it on. You can see the red light comes on. Then you have an, a headphone jack here, so you can plug in headphones if you wanna do some uh, silent practicing. And you also have a line in here, so you can plug in an MP3 player and play along with your favorite songs. So that's pretty much it for the Black Star Fly. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some sounds out of it. Okay, so as you can see, we are mic'd up here. I do have a little tiny microphone here, but I've done a couple of test runs with it to see what it sounds like, and it does actually sound pretty good. So we're gonna be using it. Right now at the top, I do have everything except for the delay set to 12 o'clock, so straight up. So we're just gonna kinda of play around with that, and this is gonna be on the clean channel. So let's go ahead and add some delay. We're gonna keep everything kind of where it's at. We're gonna add a little bit of delay. So I'm gonna turn the time up to about noon. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of delay in there on the, on the level, so the little tiny knob up here. I'm gonna do just a little bit of that. We'll probably do about a three. So you heard the little tiny bit of delay in there. It wasn't very much, but you could hear it. So let's go ahead and up the delay just a little bit. We'll go ahead and turn it all the way up just so you can get a sense of what the delay sounds like. We're keeping the time at noon, so we're just uh, messing with the little tiny knob at the top. Right, so you can see the delay is pretty prevalent in there, especially if you turn like the time all the way up. So the time and the little knob are all the way up, you get pretty good bit of delay on. So let's go ahead and take the delay off. Let's mess with the EQ knob a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn it all the way to 10 so you can get that full American sound out of it. So that's the full uh, full on 10. Let's go ahead and turn it all the way to the British sound and see what we get with that. So you can see definitely a lot more uh, mid and high in that. Um, like I said, you can kind of blend it and get a lot of usable sounds out of it. So we're going to go ahead and put the EQ back to 12 o'clock and we're going to go ahead and up the gain a little bit. We're still on the clean channel. 
Let's go ahead and turn the gain all the way up and see what we get. So that's still on the clean channel, so it's still pretty gritty even with the gain all the way up there on the clean channel. All right, so let's go ahead and put everything back to 12 o'clock minus the delay, and let's go ahead and engage the overdrive. So again, everything's still at 12 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and just kind of play a little bit on the overdrive and see what that sounds like. see with the gain at 12 o'clock it's kind of uh, again kind of gritty on there but that's with the overdrive on so um, if you really really want to get kind of heavy with it um, just up the gain all the way you can probably hear it kind of fizzing a little bit and then we'll go ahead and we'll kind of dial actually let's dial up the EQ kind of more towards the American sound so more towards 10 and let's go ahead and turn the volume down just slightly So I turned the volume down on my guitar because it was kind of hissy, but you can see it's got a pretty decent amount of gain to it. Again, this isn't going to be something that you're going to be going out and gigging with or even busking with. This is something that just they have kind of kicking around the studio just for a little bit of practice. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of fiddle with the controls again. We'll turn the gain down just a smidge, and we'll go ahead and kind of mess with the delay on the distortion so you can kind of see. I'm going to turn the time up and the level up quite a bit. So there you go. Um, yeah, again, so the delay is very usable. I, I was really, really surprised to know how good it was when I first saw it. So just to kind of sum things up with this amp, as you heard, I mean, it's, it's a nice practice amp. You know, it sounds really, really good for what it is. It sounds much, much better than all of those other little practice amps. The only thing that really competes with this is the Boss Katana Mini. Um, that runs at about $99 brand new. Again, this one runs at about 60 to 70, depending on where you get it from and what color you get and everything. But I think for that amount of money, if you picked one of these up, or even if you got one used, I think it's definitely a keeper. Again, it's just fun to have in the studio. It's a great, great little like travel amplifier, you know, um, store some batteries in your gig bag or whatever, and it's good to go. Um, you got the, the delay on it. I mean, this, this is a really, really nice little piece of kit to have. Um, and then getting the extension speaker, um, I think that that's worth it, even though I've never plugged one into this or tried one. I think that that's worth it. Again, you can find them used for about 30 bucks. So you can have this whole little six watt rig for, you know, if you get everything used, about a hundred bucks, maybe under a hundred dollars. So yeah, so that's my kind of like in-depth review of this thing. Um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed it and I hope that the sound samples were kind of a good representation of what this thing can do. Um, I will say that this thing gets pretty loud um, for three watts. I've cranked this thing all the way up before. It's pretty loud. But again, this is not going to be something that you would be recording with or even out busking with. Um, it's not that loud to do that, but in a room, like in a tiny room, it is pretty loud. So there you go. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave some links in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you for all the new subscribers and everything. I really do appreciate it. Leave me some comments, go ahead and go watch some other videos and I'll see you next time.